Okay, uh, next tip. Uh, make sure you know how a topic will be tested. All right? um, sounds obvious, I know, but it actually isn't that obvious. Uh, you can lose sight uh, of um, the precise uh, uh, focus of the exam, particularly for those of you who might be looking at the CFA Institute uh, books, the e-book, for example. Although they have the losses at the beginning of each reading, they're not embedded in the text. So you end up you know, reading something which may be a, a very, very calculation-based kind of bit of writing, and you start assuming that you'll have to do a calculation. All right? And so you, you've got to think, OK, but what was the learning outcome statement saying? Those of you who are using, obviously, Fitch uh, learning uh, material, then obviously we will embed those uh, learning outcome statements on every single slide. So you won't have that mistake. But if you're using the uh, CF Institute, just keep going back to the losses. You know, keep going with the losses and think about, okay, is it saying describe? Is it saying explain? Okay. Some of the best ways, uh, and I think probably a, a really underutilized resource, but some of the best ways of dealing with this issue is the CFA end of reading questions. Right? They are quite varied in style, so they're clearly written by several different authors, which is good, but also they, they, they are the author's opinion of how that topic can be tested. Now, although the authors are not the same people who write the CFA exam, they are very separate people, but clearly, I guess, the exam writers, they, they wouldn't be human if they didn't look at those questions as inspiration. I think, okay, well, that's what the delegates know, that's what they are expecting, it's probably not going to be fair if we give them a question that's miles different. So I think for uh, tip number three, it's really my advice is to go to the CFA curriculum and go to the end of reading questions. And that will give you a really good feel as to how it may be tested, along with obviously reading the learning outcome statement. And that links on nicely to the, uh, the next top tip.